What's up everyone, what's up YouTube, and what's up Life Pro GM? Here we are again with another YouTube content. Right now, we are going to talk about Candy Crush. That's right, Candy Crush in Life. Yes, we have a content here called Candy Crush in Life Pro GM. And I'm going to teach you guys how to farm for it, and what are essential candies that you need to farm, whether it be leveling, dungeon hunting, farming, or PvP. If you haven't played Flight before or haven't played in this particular server before, the links are on the description below. So let's get to it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's not much to talk about Candy Crush, so I'm just gonna show you how I farm these candies. If you are already playing here in Flight Pro GM and you don't know where to obtain these candies, all of these can be acquired from the mobs called Violet Magician Troops. Doesn't matter if they're master, which are the larger ones, or members, they all drop the same chances of candies. These mobs can be found all over Flowers and St. Morning, and these on the video are just a few spots where you can easily farm these candies. If you're wondering why I'm not looting a lot of candies, I'm only trying to filter my loot so I can acquire the candies that I really need, which are the candies that I'm going to show you in this video. Once you think you had enough candies, you can exchange them to the NPC named Tommy Palm. He is located at Central Flaris. Some candies are already activatable even when you don't exchange them, but to get the most of the candies that you form, you have to exchange them to Tommy Palm. There are a lot of candies, so you can choose from depending on what you want to use them for. Take note that these candies are not stackable, which means you can only use one Candy Crush power up at a time. You can only use another Candy Crush power up once you, the previous Candy Crush power up you use is already expired. For me, these are the best Candy Crush power-ups that are very worth to farm. The first one is Bomba de Sabor. I know what you're thinking, it's Spanish. Yes, 
Since this is a multilingual server and originally a Latin server, some of the features haven't been translated yet, but it's still worked on by the devs. The management's goal is to make the whole game 100% English, so don't sweat it guys, uh, this is what this video is for. So Bomba Days of War gives plus 15 SDR, plus 15 dex, and plus 15 staff, which is fair if you are trying to gain a few more stats just to hit that few critical chances or attack speed that you want. This might have a lot of requirements if you want to farm this power up, so for me it's not really worth to farm this candy. Second is the Delicioso Chocolate, which gives you plus 40 HP, which is very essential when you're planning to tank boss dungeons or even in Guild Siege. To get this candy, it requires only 3 pieces Aveliana and 5 pieces Chocolate each. The third one is the Cherry Row, which gives you plus 40 attack which is very essential if you're trying to boost up your damage during dungeon runs or if you want to kill fast while farming or if you want to kill more while yield siege to get this candy it only requires 3 pieces cereza and 5 pieces regalis And again guys, just like farming everywhere in life, don't forget to maximize your luck. When farming candies, wear your Cloak of Honor, activate Scroll of Acquisition, and join a party with full party buffs. A quick shout out to our friends out there who are also playing here in Flight Pro GM. Don't forget to like it in the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I know last time I promised that I will make a content about Fashion Awakening, unfortunately I wasn't able to because I was short in EP. Probably next week I can make that video. So once again guys, I hope this video was helpful. This is Sins Gaming, saying peace out.